and welcome to uh, Dominant Dominion number 80. Uh, I'm your commentator, Gandare, and uh, technical issues aside, hey, guess what? We're here now, and we're going to bring you this first game of the night. Uh, this is going to be Spin to Win versus Met by the Low. Dashing it immediately there, taking a lot of damage in exchange. Quick mix up at the top, three on three, starting the fight before their mid cappers even are able to arrive. Kale gets shut down very, very quickly. We have Wukong uh, stealthing back away. And Panthon's going to come down in with the ultimate. Grand Skyfall is going to interrupt this point, saving it, just barely bailing this point out. Zack here as well, though. I don't think Pantheon's got this, unfortunately. Looking for a spear shot. Is going to get one. Dies in the process. Jace comes down here to pick up Nidalee. One point under control. Garrison, defensive garrison on the tower. Going to keep that alive a little bit longer. The dive in for Kale. Kale does have the invulnerability, though. It's not going to keep her alive, unfortunately. Zack wants to pick up the killing blow on Pantheon. Might not be able to get it. Goes for the stun. Runs through to the other side. Gets the block. Good job. Nightstorm 99 Pantheon. Uh, this is going to be Amputees versus Explosive Dishwasher. Explosive Dishwasher is a pretty awesome name, I think. This is going to be the first one up. She's going to get a Howling Gale going right away. A little bit of delay there. Tags every single person. Zoning a little bit with the sapling. And we're seeing Flame Chompers from Dual Power. Now, there's something really cool about Flame Chompers that we may see this game. I don't want to spoil it in case no one's seen it before, but if it comes up, I will uh, hype it up appropriately. Shadow Blade taking a lot of damage, being forced out of the fight right away. And he's got that barrier going. Arcane Shift is off cooldown now. He can't... No, it's still on cooldown, excuse me, um, for a little bit longer. And he, without that, he's going to get away at 15 health. Very, very narrowly escaping there. Catching up, Metal Fender and Dual Power able to start contributing some damage in on this fight. And the Zap led a little bit incorrectly there. But, uh, Inconsequential still there, able to pick up Mal's OKs and Zap picking up the double kill science with a pretty good job. Strogan with the shield and the airborne on Shadowblade. There's the Zap slow and the twisted advanced snare. Ezreal really didn't have any way to get out of that. Down the bottom lane, let's not look at bottom lane. Drill, uh, being poked on by that, uh, sapling twisted advance in for Shadowblade. Howling Gale tags two people, but they're really looking for Ezreal. Science still looking for Ezreal. There's the audacious charge and the knockback. And oh, Janna, Strogan, Strogan, you've saved science! Holy cow! That was so good! Run from the spooky puppy. Oh dear, intercepted by that scene play. Top part of the map, Metal Fender has a Vengeful Maelstrom. There's a Super Mega Death Rock that contributes a little bit of damage in. Good suppress from uh, Metal Linkage, for full Metal Linkage. But there really was no damage to fall that. Crow Storm, no one home for that Crow Storm. It looks like Dual Power is going to be able to pick that up. No, Mao's going to pick that up, actually. And Dual Power with the Z... No! The, the dog! The dog intercepted it, but it was okay. Now, this game is going to be Safana's Bear Tibbers versus Life is Ezreal. Yeah, we do have a lot of action here in the top lane. Not quite actually doing it very hard. He's causing a lot of damage before the fight, and it looks like they are going to get the brand kill and follow up. Hopefully, we'll kill our two. They are quite low. Bremen is going down as well, and Soda on the run, not going to be able to get away from this cat arena. The resets are just going to work. Yeah, Life is Israel putting a lot of resources for that pop lane, you know. Um, realizing that they weren't going to be able to do much stock and trying to advantage of it, it looks like they might be able to hold that point. It looks like the point is neutral. Can they keep it that way, though? Gold Jet. Ooh, nice dash out of that close charge. That could have been bad news for him. MK taunted. Looks like Clever Advisor might go down before he gets to KV and Oh, the explosive cast from Gold Jet. Roll Sistral being chased away. Gold Jet intercepting Northpaw and Corval and able to pick it off with the Acid Hunter. Yeah, we actually did see the drill being cast as well. So the question is going to go in their favor. Looks like Katarina going to do a lot of work once again at cleaning up that reset. So they went for the five man bot and they weren't able to get active on the map still. Katarina getting a lot of targets very low. She finishes off one of them. She should be able to finish off most of them, uh, but just not able to cut it out long enough to put the one kill. Uh oh, and uh, Fat Me is in a pretty bad position here. Gets twisted advanced. Uh, Pyroclasm not doing quite enough damage to. Uh oh, Pantheon, Grand Skyfall, Arcane Shift is up. He's able to use that to escape the stun. Still lands, however, Reckoning is going to send him back to some of the platform. Now, Gold Jet 30 is able to pick up the bottom point while this is going on. They're losing their drill in the process, unfortunately. And really important to note that Ezreal has his revive, which means we could see a wake up true shot barrage if we need to great crescendo down the bottom lane. Yeah, hitting two very important targets with that. They were able to burst down the kill with the ultimate still up, I do believe. Katarina going down as well. You know, Life is Ezreal doing a very nice job of, of taking this advantage and really making it happen. 
and while they were able to get the drill, it's immediately able to turn around by North Paul. That minion is trying so hard, he just does not want Kale. He doesn't doesn't like it. He's more interested in Tower now. Oh, he's switching back and forth. Man, this minion, he's all over the place. He's going crazy for it. And he tried really hard up there. MKH and Corval down at the bottom part of the map. Fat me there as well. Exhaust on Fat Me Gold Jet's gonna show up. And oh dear, Mitsuru with the damage. Good old Katarina, alright. Yeah, she has plenty of pen going for her right now. It will put out a lot of hurt. Jumps to, through to Corval. And it looks like Sopan is Tibbers. He's gonna take this game. So what do you think about the uh, bottom matchup here, the Axe Pia against Zyra? Feels very execution. Well, right now, as we do see Zyra taking a lot of damage, not a lot of damage going up there on top. Timo is getting very low, but he should be able to get away. Axe Pia is able to finish the Zyra on the bottom lane. The Axe continues on top. Garen very low. Timo very low. But both of them running away. Timo goes back in and kind of dies, not able to get that last damage kick off that he wanted. So Juani going to go down as well. It's fast as fun. Very nice start so far. Yeah, because Pia did have to use Revive there to try to get back to it. We see a Garen vs. Leona fight going on there at the speed shrine. Uh, both of them are going to try to get over here to the team fight, and Leona does make it first, so we're going to be able to put a lot of very quick pressure down here. Onto the Zyra is going to go down, and Garen is going to quickly follow. And it does look like there's a lot of action. A nice CC there by J4 is going to be able to spin them one kill. Does he have Cataclysm up? Not sure, I believe he has it right now. He is going to use it and catch two right there. Easy cleanup. Tech Vein long enough to put out the damage. That's really the key question to ask here in this fight. Since why is able to Oh, the tumble. Really easily. A very nice Zenith play there by Leone. It's going to lock up everything. Oh my gosh! That Cataclysm was way too powerful. And you see Brand, look at all of the damage that he got from that. That's how the toaster oven toasts, man. Glacial Prison on Panzers, he's stunned, Northpaw able to catch up, eats that shield right away with a blinding dart, and he's gonna J4 through the wall right into the health relic. No, the Noxious Ooh. Trap! Well, looks like he's gonna uh, break it off, I mean, he can go for it. Oh, that pose! That pose was too strong! MK just gonna get the Storm Shield, oh, almost gets a uh, dragon. Glacial Prison on Zounds? Um, not sure how I feel about that. Condemned into the oh. wall. Great solar flare, turning this around the opposite way now. Man, yeah, Cassiopeia's just really mowing these plants away. Ooh, that flash forward from movement! Nope. That would be pretty far apart when that happened, but hey, you know, things happen. Throws down the DFG on movement, but not able to get any damage to follow up. Northpaw isn't really able to put the hurt on either. They go over. Did you see that? Did you see that? He took the time to shoot the mushroom <laughs> so that Brand could walk around safely. MKH is going to extend the game, maybe? Nope. Brand. Dang, half -Hard is like doing as much work as he can, but he's really running out of mana here. That snipe on Pantheon, they're cleaning it up. This is this is the Windex. They just sprayed it down, wiped it off with Nidalee and her god. There's the curse of the sad mummy up at the top. And Tay comes in. Lots of damage coming out from him right away. Sifu shows up as well, switches into cat form to put out a little bit of hurt on Panzers. And not able to Oh, Sona. And movement dashes forward, movement sticking his head out, takes a lot of damage in the process, gets killed for his troubles. There's a position swap from Half Hearted. Half Hearted is exhausted, however, really good to do his damage output. Still managed to pick up the KB on Pantheon, though. And now Carnival, uh, well, Carnival's still alive. Carnival's taking a lot of damage from that. Carnival not gonna quite get Spirit Rush down, but, uh, the rest of the damage is okay. Chuck Spears by Nidalee. Panzer's taking some damage, get the assault and battery in on half hearted. Sifu Calvin goes in to see about cleaning that up. Tay just continues channeling on the point. Sifu jumps back, throws Spear into the fight, puts some hurt on movement in the process. And now Sifu is going to get picked up as well. Clueless doing a pretty solid job here so far. There's the sweeper reveal. They know he's not hanging out in those bushes. Oh, the taunt on Carnival. Everything bad happens to him at once. 
good crescendo, tags two people. Let's Pantheon get a little bit of damage in, but Panzer's health gets dangerously cheesy very, very fast. So they have half hard with a Storm Shield. That's absolutely nightmarish when you have an Urgot because you can deliver those Storm Shield procs from a significant range with the Corrosive Charge as on the combo. Yeah, see Sifu right here, basically no health, just hangs out, stands outside the fire like a country song, and uh, is able to contribute damage into the fight. Oh, yeah, it's just that threat, the constant threat in position that you have to pull it into your mind. Unless, of course, you get caught out by a neck and charge like that, then you're going to go down. Yeah, there is such a thing as too close to the fire. That's how you become a burn victim. <laughs> Sam chasing Wolfer back to his tower. BB Pop is going to show up half hard coming around for the back. Man, they have had enough of Sam. Nope, he's just going to get position swapped right back to where he dashed from. Sam, go back three spaces. This is now Monopoly. Tay is able to retreat really low on health now. Able to get back. Oh, throws down the taunt. Sam taking a lot of damage in the process. Wolfer comes down to bail his ability power allies out. And he just keeps beating up on Sam. He has a club. What are you going to do about it? Sam's taking some damage from Ari in the process. BB has a bandage toss. Doesn't want to use it. There we go. Saved it. Waited on it. Threw it down when it needed to be thrown down. Sifu low on health but high on spear throw. Oh, and he's going to die before it can connect. Yeah, yeah. Turtle still has that, oh, he finally used the ultimate, but you just see how- How many how people do they have to kill down here before they can get this tower? What the heck? All of them. All of them. They're finally out of revives, they're finally out of, uh, uh, people, and of course, more are come. Only three more to kill, and they can finally take that point to secure it, I should say. Now that they finally captured it from the... It's definitely because they didn't have Nidalee down there. And oh, that position reverse didn't actually go off all the way, but it didn't need to. Looks like half hard turns attention over to Carnival, but Carnival has the Bolton shield up, so it's really going to limit that damage that he was putting out. Panzer shows up to clean up Urgot. Yeah, Panzer has the opportunity to clean here. If he can catch Ari, he's barely not going to be able to. Literally, is coming up there. Gonna try to do what she can to try to carry that, that uh, part of the map right now. If she's able to take spear on either of these targets, they should be low to die at this point. Uh, Ari actually surprised me to healing up enough to be able to come back into the fight. Oh, there's that C- Oh, Sifu! Sifu! Oh, dear! I'm a little scared for Wolfer down here. Annie coming down. Uh, does have the stun available. Able to throw that on Wolfer. Sam just chewing him up. He's- Whoa, Wolfer, where'd you get all that health? What the heck? Dude, Wolfer, calm down. Wolfer, oh my god. Trimble ultimate is pretty good. Ooh, that damage! That damage! Yeah, spears are pretty mean. <laughs> we just need one more, we just need one more. There we go, Sifu, more kills than minutes in the game. <laughs> and he's trying to stay alive here, but it looks like they're gonna be able to clean up surprisingly. And then he finally gets the all just in time to clean up the Sona as well. Very, very, very nice. Uh, oh, BB, BB, oh dear, right into that. Good curse the Sad Mummy. Is this team going to be able to follow up on this well enough? Uh, yeah, it's certainly looking like it. You know, is still continuing to be inside of the other team. And, uh, BB here as well. BB bandage tosses through. Taunt lands as well. Movement locked down. Assault and batteries to escape. And Tay is going to be able to survive. Yeah, and just barely surviving. He has another couple charges on that ultimate. He can do it for some damage and get killed for it. He managed to get in as well. One of those 3Ds of Stoner. Not long. Fai's hanging out, zoning people back. Team captures the tower for free. They turn around and start moving on back down. Half hard is getting beaten up. Sifu didn't arrive at the fight until really late into it. BB might go down here. Is gonna get taken down. And Carnival's gonna fall back onto the point. Zound's still alive as well. Fair 2v2 at the top. Now, if Vi had gone up to the top, tried to cap it, gotten picked off, then it would have been a much different fight. He gave the team a chance to get it off. As the team arrives, he's going to hold it up for a little bit here. He's going to get four versus three. He'll have to keep making some magic happen. And Tay taking a lot of damage there. That crescendo was really useful, tagging two people with it. And Carnival is not going to go down. Sifu's still alive. We're looking for that Shock Blast combo. He will get it. Yeah. Nope. Don't need it. Sifu Calvin also really good at Jace. Quadra Kill picked up there by him. Oh dear. Janitor, your flight's grounded. That didn't get approved by the FAA. Leave right now, please. Jace! Oh dear! Blat, blat, blat! Annie! 
a half heart's hanging out up here, gonna turn out, around and start the fight with Carnival, and they're gonna be able to do it, but the Grand Skyfall takes out Jace in the process. Exhaust on half heart means Panzer's gonna be able to pick up that KB. Oh, extended range, salt and battery. Tay taking a lot of damage. What? Intercepted by BB Pop. Movement is not going to be able to connect and get that killing blow. He wants to on Tay. Tay, be really freaking careful, man. You just made the play. Don't turn it into a fail. There's the Cursed Sad Mummy up at the top part of the map. Uh oh, throws that damage out. Able to help pick up the kill against Vi. Tay, I'm scared for you, man. Tay, Tay. Your, Tay, your spirit rush is off. You used it after the, you used it before the slow landed. Tay? Tay? Wait, BB back again to save Tay? What is going on? Uh, Ari and Amumu, best friends. For it takes Sifu Calvin's word for it. Movement going in, trying to beat up Wolfer. Wolfer able to get the slow off. And Wolfer just getting chipped down. There's that armor. Oh, oh, the Wooglets. Is Wolfer going to live? The taunt lands right after the Wooglets has fired. Great synchronization. Fires a shock blast through, and tag movement with it, do a little bit of damage, circling around from the side there, goes in for Zounds, puts a bunch of hurt on him, needs to get movement down, no, unfortunately, just too much damage uh, at once, diving into the center of that fight, it's not too good for him, Monsoon kicking Sam back, looks like Jan's gonna head up to the top portion of the map to deal with any potential push from Vi that we may see. Oh, they lined up. It's perfect Howling Gale. Nope, don't need it. Half Heart is going to be right there. And this means that Clueless is going to take the series. And this was a very good series, too, even though it was 2-0. These games were great. But Clueless is going to be your champions.